Welcome to Design Connect 21, brought to you by Decorex Africa and 100% Design South Africa. Today we'll be chatting to Tracy Lynch from Cloud SA about the importance of collaboration with emerging creatives and the amazing Right Here, Right Now installation that took place in Cape Town in June during the Decorex Design Trail. Tracy's philosophy is focused on developing a deeply conscious response to the particular requirements of her clients. Interior design solutions must be memorable, supportive, and nurturing. The intended outcome is the realization of a timeless solution that inspires the collaborative aspect. It is a hugely important to her, and she has found great opportunity to initiate and curate Nando's massive long-term collaboration with South African designers and makers, which has been involved in the complete revamp of the Nando Central Kitchen as a showcase of contemporary essay design and the introduction of South African design in the restaurants across the globe. But before we chat to Tracy, I'd like to kick off with this video. I wanted everybody to remember that despite all of the hardships and things that have been going on in the world, there is so much to celebrate. Creatives that have been isolated continue to work. They continue to find ways to express themselves, possibly even more so than ever. I just recently like launched my um, design studio. Um, it's called Bopa Studios. Day to day I'm working a, a full 9 to 5. I've been working on this in the after 5 and the before 9. Looking at the bench is like the different like iterations of it are coming out like nicely. Um, yeah, we sent one to Australia. Yeah, waiting for feedback on that. There's a lot happening on the international front which is very exciting for me. I signed with a gallery in Paris uh, at the end of last year and then I exhibited now in Bordeaux for a month. In, in May it was collectible design fair in Brussels and I'm exhibiting in New York in a month. Being able to just imagine something and then you know and then you bring it to life, you know, it just it gives you a, a sense of satisfaction that I just cannot really describe. It was very important for me to find an expression of the energy that's bubbling at the surface. I think this is something that we really have an opportunity to share with the world. It's something unique, all of our voices coming together in a very positive way. I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat drum, pounding so bad, I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, 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 big. Listen! So the right here, right now exhibition is in the beautiful Union House and that's in the heart of Cape Town and it's a four-storey building which is absolutely incredible to visit. The first floor is a very dramatic exhibition. It has a showcase of established designers but also includes the work of emerging designers like Jan Arnst who's one of our current um, finalists on a Hot Young Designer competition as well as the work of Corsi Lateba in collaboration with Laurie Veed. Corsi was one of the winners of our industry day and the collaboration is a really showstopper one with two incredible benches that were manufactured by Veed Studios. Mopa Studios focuses more on emotional design because for me I believe good design isn't just about how it looks, it's also about how it feels. It should evoke an emotion in you when like you know you have my pieces in, in, in your space. Um, recently I was approached by Aranda to make um, a collection of like Basutu blankets so it's a new take on Basutu blankets, a contemporary take of Basutu blankets. I just wanted to bring that modern feel, something that can relate to this new generation. I also wanted to see how ceramics could be uh, pushed into a larger scale. I then started exploring and experimenting with furniture um, and that's where all the pieces uh, came from for the clout uh, right here right now exhibition. And we also have an incredible artwork in this space by Tamlin Blake. She's also the curator of the arts, um, the hub uh, art collection. We also had the Kiskama embroiderers. They came through from the Eastern Cape to be here and they were working on an eight meter long tapestry, an embroidery that was started in the lockdown and it's the COVID piece. 
have sandaline from Naturalis. We have the maker's floor. And here we have the guys from Lange that all work on recycled projects through an incredible initiative called Our Workshop. On that same floor we have a shanty. A shanty design work with recycled t-shirt material and they create incredible lampshades and mirrors all out of this extraordinary material that would have landed up in landfill and they've now repurposed and upcycled this material to become something absolutely extraordinary. We have a, a showcase which I'm incredibly proud of. Um, it's the Hot Young Designers prototypes. So six of the Hot Young Designers were invited to be here in person. They've been on a journey to see some of their pieces prototyped and this was the first time we shared this collection with the public. I have the piece of bench which I redesigned from the original concept and then I also have the Kanisa lights. I've been working on refining the Shongololo bench that was one of the top 10 Nanosad Young designer pieces last year and just refining that into different pieces and a range. Got the opportunity thanks to Nandos to collaborate with Talk uh, in Johannesburg to produce a prototype of a Shongololo chair and ceiling light, hanging light. The Gimba units is inspired by the Swati tradition. When I was Designing the gimbal unit, I didn't want to go for the, you know, the, the regular rectangular shape, you know, like, you know, you have a cabinet with four legs and all that. I just wanted something that's just organic, it just flows, you know. And um, the, the Ndebele wall panel is obviously inspired by the Ndebele culture. And then Anela Versi's bench, in collaboration with Mpo from Urban Native, is also there for the public to see. Mpo took the design and she actually put her flair um, onto it, which kind of also for me made it very true to the, to the idea of collaborating with someone where both parties are represented within the design. That was thoroughly pleased the entire time. Katlejo, our winner's pieces were made by Dr. and Mrs. and they're there for people to see, absolutely exquisite. It's also looking back at like the idea of like Isamu or like the traditional African grassmats and like how can we take that idea and like bring it into like something that's like a light or like a pendant, yeah. I've curated a collection of accessories, small items that are made by many of our established designers and emerging designers. Um, there's a very special piece by Tabisa and Jo um, which was launched here and little lamps that she's made, lots of incredible ceramic pieces. South Africans are brilliant at, at ceramics, so there's a wonderful collection included there. And beautiful lights, really incredibly well-crafted lights. Dan Sachs had the most extraordinary new bench and um, coffee tables that he launched, such beautiful surface design. We also had incredible new chairs and tables from Pedersen and Leonard. It really was great to see that despite the challenges out there, designers really leapt at this opportunity to showcase their new products. Candice Lawrence has a number of new colorways on her mirrors. Just as, as a showcase of new from established designers, it was really exciting to see all of this newer coming to the fore. I met a lot of um, people who actually had a, a lot of experience in the industry and you know I've implemented some of the lessons that I've learned from those people you know you you cannot grow um, as, a, as a business owner unless you you, you hold us, yourself accountable for everything that goes wrong in, in, in the business you know but you you know you, you grow with your products you know as, as time goes on you as the product improves, you also improve. We go on a journey with the designers that we notice. So all of the finalists are still part of the ecosystem. It's not just a showcase. It's the tip of the iceberg of what's going on in South Africa, in the creative community. Get involved. There is so much potential. There's so much optimism. There's so much energy.
Well done, Trace. That what what an impressive installation. Um, you must be super proud and what you're doing for the industry. Um, welcome to Design Connect and thanks again for joining us. Um, Trace, let's kick off and uh, tell us a bit about why Clout SA decided to be a part of the the Decorex Design Trail. Um, I think you'll agree that um, at the point when Decorex launched the opportunity, we were all so starved for tactile experiences. And I started seeing on social media, all the posts around different businesses being accessible to the public. They were gonna come on board and open up, um, you know, evenings and galleries were be, gonna be participating. And so we were very inspired to create an opportunity that looked at showcasing our established designers that we work with and the emerging designers that we've been working with even during lockdown. So, um, it was a no-brainer and also our partner, the Spear Arts Trust, that curates the artwork and the hub um, organization that curates the artwork for Clout SA, they are housed in an incredible building called Union House. And it's one of my favorite places to visit. And I thought how, how extraordinary it would be if we could showcase in the building and combine art and the design that was happening. So of course, all of our um, partners left at the opportunity and, and we created the, the right here, right now um, showcase. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, tell us a little bit about who is Cloud SA? So Cloud SA um, is a purpose first project. It was seeded in the Nando's world. The work that we've done in the Nando's world has really been incredible and it has afforded us the opportunity to open up um, what we do to other businesses. So Cloud SA is reaching out to find other businesses that are keen to collaborate with South African design. It's a really sustainable system. There's a levy, a purpose levy, which goes back into our programs. So of course, mentoring emerging designers is crucial for the industry. We have to find ways to include emerging designers. Um, prototyping is a very expensive process. It excludes a lot of opportunity for designers that don't have access to funding to prototype. And so we've managed in the Nando space to create this opportunity where we really do um, all the work that is sold through the portal to Africa the purpose levy gets plowed back into the mentorship opportunities. And with Cloud SA, that's the same offering, and that'll be working with other um, values aligned partners um, in the world of it could be property developers, it could be retailers, any businesses that are interested and that do work with product design and interior design and could really benefit from being involved in a project like this and that want to give back, that want to participate and make sure that South African design is a recognized category brand for South Africa. Because I think we all agree that it's incredible what's on offer in South Africa, not only in the craft space, but also in the, in, the, in the space where young people are really keen to be involved in the creative economies of South Africa. And by incorporating aspects of design with craft, we really have a unique offering. So it's about wanting to share that with the world and also create opportunities in South Africa. It's often surprising to me that a, a lot of the local businesses haven't participated in collaborating with local South African design. I sometimes feel that they maybe don't know what they have access to. And I think um, as part of the Clout SA journey, we want to make sure that businesses understand what's available. And also it's part of the role we play is facilitating opportunities specifically for those businesses. Each business that we approach or approach us have unique needs have unique um, ideas around what's important to them. And it would be our role to find ways to work with emerging designers and establishing designers to give them what they are looking for and help the process be a seamless process. We facilitate logistics, we facilitate aspects of the payment system, all of the things that may be very challenging for businesses to deal with, those are the things that Clout SA um, facilitates. And we go on the journey with the clients to really bring together the energy around what they're looking for, what we have experience in, and what emerging designers have to offer and established designers. 
it's absolutely phenomenal what you're doing. I'm so proud of, of what you're doing. You should be very proud too. And um, tell us a little bit about the collaborations and the, the relationship with Hub. So the relationship with Hub is we've always in the Nando space combined our passion for creativity. Nando's has been supporting the arts for more than 20 years. And the Spear Arts Trust was born of that relationship with Nando's to bring South African art to the world through the Nando's restaurants. Now we're doing the same with the in the design space. It was hugely inspiring for me when I came on board seven years ago to look at the opportunity in the design space and align it with what was happening in the art space. Um, Hub is this, the new opportunity which curates collections of art for new partners. So um, it may be that a property developer wants to build a hotel and they are looking for a collection of authentic South African arts to place in a hotel and Hub would facilitate this collection for them. It may be related to the size of the works, the number of works, the approach of the artist, the value of the artworks, but there's always um, the, the focus on an authentic art collection. It won't be a collection that is generated by an interior design focus. It is a real expression of South African art, and it is very a very valuable investment because all of the artists that are part of the Hub Initiative and part of the Spear Arts Trust, their work grows in value. So that's really important about the offering and, and to understand that it really is an authentic um, art collection with a curator, and there are very specific ways that artists have to um, work with the trust in order for their pieces to be accepted into the collection and then sold to um, projects and, and curated for projects. Wonderful. This venue is also a um, historical building in Cape Town City. Um, can you share some details with us more about the, the venue? And is it um, always in a gallery? Oh, it's a very special building, um, Union House. It's painted this incredible blue, almost the same blue of the table you see in the image um, of Laurie Veed's beautiful pieces. Um, it is the home of the Spear Arts Trust and Hub, and it's the place where mosaic pieces are made. So um, mosaicers have access to space to come and create the mosaics that are also connected to the collection. They are very detailed mosaics. Um, absolutely extraordinary to see them being made in the building. It's also the logistics space where all of the art comes to to be shipped off to the rest of the world. And it's also the space where the curator meets the, meets the artists and chooses the artworks that will form part of the collection. So there's quite a lot that goes on in the, the building. The Kakumbile beaders are also housed at Union House, but the ground floor is being used as a gallery space. And because of our wonderful relationship um, with the team and the work that we do together, it seems like the most incredible opportunity to really take all four floors and bring activations to all of the floors. So as you move through this beautiful building with its high ceilings and ancient beams, you, you're surrounded by the history of Cape Town and feel the patina of the building and the energy in the space, but that's juxtaposed with all the new of the design that we showcase and all the artworks that were also included in the showcase. So it becomes a very interest, it became a very interesting experience. Um, the image you're seeing on the screen now um, shares the work of Larry Veed and Kosi Laterba. Um, the little tables also have mosaic on the surface um, by Glorina Mabasa, the design, and then the mosaic was done by the, the Spear Arts Trust. And in the background, you see an incredible screen, which I commissioned Dr. and Mrs. to make. And those panels that you see, the round ones, they are actually beaded panels. And the beaded panels um, showcase the patterns of our 10 hot young designer finalists um, from 2018. So when you walk up close to those pieces, you realize that the patterns are all expressed in beads. I mean, they're just, just the most phenomenal showcase and a piece that was very exciting um, to see come to life and, and bring all these pieces together in the space. Uh, it was just amazing. Some of the designers that we work with 
um, also created their own installations. They were allocated spaces. The, the, the frame you see, the image you see on the screen at the moment um, is a really exciting showcase. As I mentioned in the video, it's really special because it was the first time that we were able to share with the public the pieces that we prototyped um, that belong to, that are the designs of our 2020 Hot Young Designers. So as we go on a journey with the Hot Young Designers, um, they are exposed to opportunities around collaboration. Uh, it's very important for us to, to um, introduce the emerging designers to the right collaborators. And we, because of the relationship we have in the industry uh, with many of the established successful designers, they have um, welcomed collaboration and created opportunities where they work closely with the emerging designer to bring a piece to life so that the emerging designer have, has a deep understanding of what it takes to actually manufacture a piece. Um, a lot of the, the um, young designers are brilliant at conceptualizing work, at rendering and drawing pieces, but they've actually never made, physically made a piece. So in the collaboration, they have the first hand opportunity of understanding design for manufacture. And that has become a big focus in our mentoring program and is extremely important as we go on this journey. Um, the response from the emerging designers is, is significant. And I'm sure you heard that in the video as well. Designers like um, Katle Hutsuma talking about how exciting it was to see this beautiful design that was, you know, part of the winning design collection come to life through the expertise of somebody like Arjun from Dr. and Mrs. I mean, what a privilege and what an incredible end result. So inspiring for Katlejo, in fact, that he created the lights based on that design. And he's come up with a number of other pieces for this collection, all very much inspired by the processes that he's been on um, in collaboration with Dr. and Mrs. Um, I think, you know, Anele, Vesi, you heard from him too, He's been working with Urban Native. And the, as, as the designers are mentored by the established designers, they build relationships. And yes. what's important is often these relationships, um, you know, they, they evolve and they create other opportunities. So as we, as um, Nando's design program and Cloud SA, immerse ourselves in these opportunities, we're learning all the time around how to facilitate all the potential that exists in the design industry. It's a very um, exciting industry. One of the biggest assets it has is the attitude of all that are part of this incredible energy and the, the open-mindedness to collaboration um, and the open-mindedness to giving back and contributing is extraordinary. It isn't difficult for us to draw in some of the established designers. Uh, they are always willing to give up their time. And I think that is um, that really tells you a little about how incredible the sector is. And I think um, there's a lot to learn from the sector. Absolutely, the incredible energy around community and sharing of skills and sharing of opportunity is really um, a big focus and what we've seen um, as one of the biggest contributors to the success of the Nando's design program is really this amazing attitude to, um, to sharing and, and, and making sure that as um, you become more established and successful, you, you bring others along with you. And I think that is, um, is exceptional and, and really a big focus of, of the future. Uh, very important in South Africa across any sector, I believe, and wonderful to see this in action in the programs that we've been working on and initiating over the years. Phenomenal. And we do really have such amazing talents in South Africa. And just to see that how they've collaborated and come together through these uncertain times, they've created this beautiful and really a big well done to the designers and the creators who've come up with this these phenomenal designs and just to inspire us all and to see it actually hit global um, platforms. Trace, tell us a little bit. I know you said there's different levels. Have we covered all um, what each floor um, represented and um, what you could see on the different floors? 
I can talk a little bit more to that. So I think um, what was important for me was to make sure that we showed as much um, of the vastness of the offering of South African design as we could in this space. So um, working with established designers like Laurie Veed on the first floor and then some of the key collaboration pieces that I've spoken through and having those incredible art installations that you heard about in the video, that was a real wow when you walk through the door. It really took your breath away. And we also showcased, I mean, Jan Ernst is a force. He has really, since we've been working with him um, and watching his journey over the last two years, He's produced so much work. It's just incredible. And he leaps at opportunity. So he had a big section of the space downstairs and he's most certainly doesn't, didn't disappoint. The ceramic pieces that he shared were absolutely mind blowing. And as you heard from him, he's really had access to amazing opportunities because of the hard work and his energy and focus. Um, on the second floor, with a recycle project, we wanted to make sure that we showcased some of the making so that when you came to the exhibition, you would actually be able to see um, mosaic uh, artists, artisans making mosaics. The Kakambila beaders were there working on panels. And then we had the guys from Langa from our workshop actually also working on their projects. They, um, under the guidance of Heath Nash, uh, recycle, um, plastic milk bottles and all sorts of things that are disposable things that would land up in landfill. They turn these under the guidance of Heath and then their inspiration and their creativity um, into products and pieces that are really special. And I, I think um, also another project that's very inspiring to look at and understand that there are massive opportunities if we find ways to collaborate. Um, and then I mentioned Ashanti, always doing incredible work, always a big part of the Nando's world. And we shared, uh, they had lots of new lights and, and mirrors and beautiful things. And they actually had one of their weavers weaving there. I think the public love seeing pieces come to life to actually understand the manufacturing process and to be able, I think one of the most exciting things about the exhibition was the fact that there were the designers present at their installations. So you could chat to one of the beaders, you could chat to the Kiskama embroiderers that came from the Eastern Cape that were working on the most mind blowing um, piece, embroidery piece. Um, you could chat to Laurie Veed. And um, it was really so exciting. And again, with the um, emerging designers on the third floor, having them participate and be there on the ground to talk about their design is such a learning experience. It's incredibly important for designers to talk to the public. It's incredibly important for them to talk to other designers. So these kinds of showcases do a lot for the community, the design community. It's not just about the pieces and showing them. It's also a massive opportunity to spark the creativity and collaborations between the designers and the makers themselves. All the emerging designers talk about how inspired they are when they come to a showcase and when they talk to you know, the makers and they start thinking about what they're seeing and how they can incorporate those opportunities into their work. It's a massive learning experience. So it's a, it's a really important um, process and, and one that we as Cloud SA are very committed to. Showcasing is most certainly on our agenda for each year and we make sure that we participate in showcases. Before um, the pandemic we had shown in Milan through Tabisa and Jo and challenged her to curate more designers into the space that she was sharing and we had the opportunity to work with her and sponsor this opportunity and we plan to do more global showcases as um, the economy settles and we find ways to to bring these um, showcases to life they're very important um, not only to show what we are capable of to the rest of the world but also for to build the confidence in our designers in our south african designers to help them understand that they are world class and that's what they offer and what they design and, and what they imagine is absolutely relevant, absolutely inspiring, and really important for the rest of the world to see.
So there's a lot of magic that happens when you put together a showcase such as right here, right now. Um, very important for the industry, for sure. Oh, Tracy, it's really phenomenal. Tell me, I don't think the installation's running anymore. If there are any emerging designs or creatives that maybe haven't been able to get hold of you, how, what's the easiest way they can get into in touch with you? It's great for um, designers to reach out to us on social media, Cloud SA, and also on the, um, the Nando's Hot Young Designers Instagram. Okay, um, messaging there is absolutely fine. But what's also important is to know that we will be launching beginning of next year, um, the next Hot Young Designers competition. So, you know, watch this space and absolutely be showcasing in um, South Africa next year as well, and hopefully be part of Decorex. Um, so I think, you know, we, we make sure that our messaging is, is um, out there and accessible, and we do want um, to, to hear from you. Um, but, but really the, the Hot Young Designers competition is an amazing opportunity for emerging designers to show us what's, um, you know, what's important to them and what they want to express. And uh, yes, there will definitely be other showcases and potentially another industry day, uh, which we originally had shown at 100% Design, where we ask all designers, they don't have to be young designers, to come and show us what they're up to. So yes, okay. definitely be doing more. <laughs> Can't wait to see some more magic from you and your team. Congratulations, Tracy, and what you really are doing for design in um, South Africa it is phenomenal. Thanks for being part of Design Connect and chatting. We could chat for days, but we really <laughs> appreciate you having us and um, joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's been great chatting to you and always inspiring to see what you um, what you guys focus on and also the contribution that you make. Thank you. Thank you, Trace. Keep well. All you right, too. So I just want to say, please join us at 1 p.m. as we feature top interior designer and Tabi Tokobang. Her topic is I am and it will be live at Design Connect 21.